Let's get, uh, his company has created a special product that they say, when sprayed onto an object, it makes it virtually indestructible. Come on in, Dennis Weiss, president of Line X, to explain this all to us. Uh, it sounds too good to be true. You know, it, it really is a fantastic product with lots and lots of applications. And, uh, you know, we have uh, had some fun demonstrating that this morning on the plaza. Yeah, I, so give us the genesis. How did it start? How long has it been around? And because how come I haven't heard of this? I'd like to spray myself a few times <laughs> before getting on a New York City subway. You know, we've been uh, around, Linux has been around for 23 years. And uh, the product has really benefited the last few years from just the... Uh, Again, the increase in the automotive industry, we got our start spraying uh, bed liners and pickup trucks uh, coming out of the financial crisis of 08. You know, the car business has come back in a big way, and uh, now the, the product has just uh, become increasingly more accepted, so we've had uh, more opportunities to showcase it. So is this one of these things then where consumers started to see it and they wanted it? You know, in other words, it sounds like you have that industrial demand from the automakers, but now are you starting to see consumers wanting to buy this stuff and use it in different, different applications? We are. We're, we're seeing, uh, in addition to the automotive demand, we're seeing uh, commercial and industrial customers from other industries saying, hey, there's an application here as well. Um, but, you know, they, look, they see the trucks driving around, see how durable the product is, and say, hey, you know what, we'd like that as well. All right, well, you know, we got to put you to the test, Dennis. So, All righty. <laughs> we got one of our reporters, Lauren Simonetti. She's outside right now. She's got a baseball bat. Uh, you're telling me that she <laughs> won't be able to damage this car. Well, look, uh, look, look at that. that. That's a cup. Is that a paper cup? That yeah. is a solo cup, uh, and she crushed Whoa. the one without Amazing. the product, and she's standing on the one with the product. Holy it's like she's done it before. Lauren. And, and by the way, great balance, too. Yeah, I was going to say, very <laughs> impressive. Lauren? Does she hear it? <laughs> She's trying to... Uh, uh, egg. Oh, uh oh Eggs. That was a regular that egg. That was the regular egg, the non-coated oh, one. <laughs> and here's the one with coating on it. It just bounced away. <laughs> it went down the fifth avenue, sixth avenue. Wow. Now, what Whoa. is this? Light, Light bulb. bulbs. Light bulbs. I'm afraid to throw oh, this one. Go. Yep, smash. Anarchist. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> You know, and these are just great, fun little Amazing. experiments to demonstrate the strength of the product. Maybe you could sell it to the presidential candidates. Uh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Wow. They could have used that in Seattle. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. So I, it's 23 years. I, I can't believe I'd never heard of it. It's, it does feel like there's so many applications, even yeah. around the house, that you can use something like this. There are. We, uh, we are starting to see this product emerge more in construction. Uh, there are marine applications. Um, a number of our uh, partners that we have in the manufacturing world have put it on uh, our RTVs and UTVs, and uh, you know, so there really are a ton of applications. Well, you know, uh, there's a lot of also. I mean, okay, impressed with the solo cup, impressed with the light bulb, but we heard it could do even more than that. So, tell you what we want to do. We want it, We got a Jeep outside. It's covered with the stuff. Yep. Uh, when we come back, we're going to put it to a real test. Sounds ready great. for it, Dennis? I am ready. A real test. All right. All right. Is she we'll doing? be right back. Is she going to drive it into a building? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs>